Alright, what's up everyone? This is Ninja Deathstrike bringing you another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. My opponent this time is Mr. Gibble, who some of you may remember as the guy I lost to in the video where I was complaining about the weather, and especially Chomp before he went Uber, so when I saw him looking for a match on the forums, I definitely wanted a shot at redemption and a chance to prove that, hey, I can predict, I do know what I'm doing, and I can beat this guy and outplay him, so I was really excited to get another chance to face him. He's going to lead with Mind Shadow, I lead with Crack as Whack, and I see that he has an Espeon, so I'm not going to try any funny business with Crack as Whack. I'm just going to U-turn right out, predicting him to try to bring an Espeon and Magic Bounce my status moves back at me. That's exactly what he does. Espeon comes in, I get a super effective, a hit, a super effective hit, and I get Switch Initiative, so I'm going to go out to Hate, and since I don't run HP Fire, I have full speed IVs, and that's either going to allow me to flat out outspeed him or win the speed tie and take Espeon out right away. Which is great because now for the rest of the match, Crack is Whack is free to wreak havoc. And that's going to prove really decisive in this battle later. So he brings in Heatran, uh, predicting maybe a Dragon Pulse or an HP Ice. I switch into Nike. Since it's a pretty safe switch, I should be able to handle any kind of Heatran set. He shows me that he has Flame Charge, which is great because it means I completely wall this Heatran set. He's going to have to switch out here, so I'm not going to go for Earth Power. Instead, I'm going to go for Ice Beam, predicting uh, likely Virizion or Thunderous to come in. Virizion comes in, and I get a super effective hit. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but that's all right. Um, but at this point, I realize... I'm going to have a very hard time dealing with the combination of Rizion, Volcarona, and Thunderous. So uh, I go into Crow just to see what kind of Rizion this is, hoping that it's a physical set, but it's not. It's a special set. So this is a really bad situation. I'm going to think for a long time here about what I want to do. In the end, I decide to sacrifice Crow for the chance to get my rocks up. Because of Volcarona, I absolutely must have rocks up. Otherwise, it's easily gonna be able to sweep this team. So I stay in, Sturdy thankfully saves me from the crit and allows me to set up my rocks. And um, in the end, that crit didn't really matter since at plus one, Brizion is easily able to two hit KO Skarmory with any combination of its moves. He gets another useless crit here, but it's all right. Neither of them really mattered in the end, and I get my rocks up, which is vital, vital for later. Now, since Espeon's gone, I can bring, his, bring in Crack as Whack and paralyze this thing to negate its speed. I know that I'm going to take a super effective hidden power, but I should be able to live, which I do. And I'm thinking here what I want to do. I decide I'm going to switch out here since he's not likely to use a grass move. I should be safe to switch in Nike on this turn. And I'm actually laying a trap for him here. I'm going to try to bait him into going for a grass move on the next turn. He sets up another Calm Mind here. And now, predicting the grass move, I'm going to switch back into Crack as Whack to, re to resist it. Uh, but luckily for me, he gets paralyzed. And since the last move he used successfully was, on was Calm Mind, I'm free to Encore here and trap him into Calm Mind. So at this point, I get a plan. I... I figure out how I'm going to deal with this thing. I Encore him into Calm Mind, and I'm going to be able to switch and have one turn to do something before that Encore ends and he sweeps the rest of my team. So you turn out here, and rather than going into Thunderous, I'm going to go into Hate, my Latios, and I am not going to attack here. I'm going to trick him on this next turn. He gets paralyzed again, but that didn't matter since he would have had to just Encore uh Calm Mind anyhow, and I'm able to trick in my spec. So now he's not only paralyzed, he's trapped into using Calm Mind for as long as he's in. I go for the Psychic here just to show him that I have it. And now on this next turn, I'm going to go for Surf, predicting him to switch Heatran in to absorb that Psychic. And that's exactly what he does. So I make a really good prediction here. I get a super effective Surf. It's not quite white gonna kill it since I don't have my specs anymore but it brings it down into a range where I'll easily be able to two hit KO with any of my other moves. I go for the safe psychic just in case he switches out but he doesn't. Heatran goes down and I'm feeling pretty good right now because that was a nice series of plays that put me in a good position 
Thunderous comes in. Since I'm at full health, I know that I'll be able to live one hidden power, but instead he shows me that he has Thunder Wave. So he paralyzes hate, but I take him out with a crit psychic. Not sure if that crit mattered or not. It might have. But Volcarona comes in now, and thankfully it loses half its health since I was able to get my rocks up. I go into Crack as Whack because I cannot allow this thing to Quiver Dance. If it does, I want to Encore it so that Thunderous will still be faster. But he just goes for the flat out bug buzz, kills Crack as Whack, but that does give me a free switch into Sinbad, my Thunderous, and he finally gets a kill after like, what, eight battles. He hasn't gotten a kill since the first one, so I was so happy that he did something here. Vrizion comes back in, go for the HP Ice, which doesn't kill, unfortunately. And now I'm going to get taken out with HP Ice, but you know what? It doesn't matter because Sinbad finally got a kill. So that was great. Um, so happy for him. And now Vrizion's at low enough health that I can bring Nike in. I go for Earth Power here for whatever reason, and it fails to kill. So he must be running some special defense EVs in that in that Vrizion, I think, since it took my attacks quite well. But uh, he gets paralyzed, and another one takes it out. And now Mind Shao comes in. I'm just going to fodder out Nike thinking that I won't survive a high jump kick, but my health drops down to five and then stops. So I do indeed survive enough to get a little bit of damage on Mind Shao. And now Nike is going to go down on this next turn, but it's all right because the battle is already won. I can bring in Lenin and Mock Punch for the win. So I was really happy with how well I played in this match. I... Uh, definitely feel like I made a lot of good choices and um, outpredicted my opponent and proved that uh, I'm not terrible, especially without uh, Garchomp screwing me over. So anyhow, this is going to wrap up this series of battles, guys. I will be putting together a new team, so stay tuned. I'll have a sneak peek of that probably coming in my next video. Thanks, guys.